Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out at me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 86 Jazz. Released in January of 2021, this figure is brand new and is starting to hit stores right now. As of the time of this recording, I just found mine this morning at my local Walmart. It is a deluxe class figure, so it retails for approximately $20. So here we've got that Studio Series window box. We can see Jazz already right there through the window package in his robot mode. And then we've got some cool artwork of Jazz right here on the side. On the side of the box, we've got Studio Series 86 and some artwork or profile art of Jazz. Around the other side, we've got that 86 and more artwork of Jazz. And then finally, around the back of the box, we've got product shots of Jazz shown both in his vehicle and his robot mode wielding his weapon and then we've also got a shot right there of that little display piece that comes with the packaging so that's about it for the box let's get them opened up and go check it out out of the package you're going to get the instruction sheet for jazz a diorama background this one is called moon base one destruction you're going to get the weapon for jazz and the jazz figure itself and here is studio series 86 jazz and i love this toy and as usual we're going to start out in vehicle mode and i am really happy to report that i love this toy um which i know is something that i always say but with jazz figures are typically a crapshoot for me it's something odd and weird happens with me in modern jazz figures i am a really big fan of the g1 jazz design i love the character design i love the car i love the robot design i love his character in g1 and i love his g1 figures just one of those figures and characters that I just really, really love. Uh, kind of like my love for Optimus Prime figures. However, unlike what happens with me in Optimus Prime figures, where I just really kind of love every one of those that I can get my hands on, for whatever reason, every time there's a new jazz figure or a modern take on a jazz figure, I'm always really psyched uh, and pumped up for that figure. And then, and I'm really looking forward to it. And then when I get my hands on it, for whatever reason, I always feel disappointed for there's and there's something that I just quite can't put my finger on that I always end up uh, less than a hundred percent with that figure. There's always something that disappoints me and I can't quite put my finger on my finger on it. Not the case with this figure. I absolutely adore everything about this figure. This has been such a wonderful experience to get a modern. Uh, or cartoon accurate jazz uh, that I've just been just so happy with. I've not been able to put this figure down and stop messing with it. I absolutely adore it. So again, as usual, we're starting out in car mode. And as you can see here in car mode, he is approximately, he's just under five inches long. He's about an inch and a half tall. So he is about a deluxe size and he looks absolutely fantastic. Just the design of the vehicle, that stylized Porsche, like the racing Porsche, it's just a little bit stylized, looks like the animation. It just looks so, so good going all the way around. Even the back bumper where they just made this defeat, somehow this works for me. That just looks really, really good. He rolls really, really nicely. And, you know, he looks just like he did in the cartoon, in that animated movie. It looks like he just stepped out of the screen. Obviously, we've got some uh, differences and some weird stuff going on here with the deco. We've got a 14 on the door instead of that number four, um, which, which is kind of odd. So I see a lot of good opportunities here for Toy Hacks to step in and give us a sticker sheet uh, to kind of make this a little more like the G1 toy, give us a proper number four and... Uh, hopefully give us that Meister logo to put in right behind the four. Um, the, the racing stripes here on the back fender are missing. The racing stripe on the door is missing. So hopefully we can get those as well. Maybe a Meister sticker on the, on the bumper here and the Agent Master stripes for the window 
and for the back wing would be nice. Hopefully, we can get that number four. Uh, in fact, if they could just give us a little bit of a darker, if you see this blue stripe, it's a little too light, I think. Uh, a, 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 a darker blue would, on this would be really, really nice. So, you know, uh, that's just kind of wishful thinking on my part. I'm sure whatever Toy Hacks does is going to look really, really nice. They always do a good job of updating these figures. So, uh, And that's really kind of about it. He does come with his weapon. And, uh, you know, we've got that one. Well, let's come in closer. You can see the weapon real quick. And again, it just looks like his G1 weapon. Nothing to write home about really other than it's G1 accurate. No storage for the weapon in the vehicle mode. You got this hole up here. If you want to plug it in there, you can do that. Or you can kind of put it in sideways. If you want to do that personally, you know me. I'm not a fan of that. I'd just rather put it aside. It would have been nice if we got some form of i don't know putting it in between the legs to make a uh, an exhaust maybe or something i don't know i'm not a big fan of these uh, uh of these attack modes uh personally in fact uh, when i first saw the hole on the roof i'm like that was just completely unnecessary we did not need that but it works for the robot mode for storage in robot mode so you know not so bad there a couple of quick comparisons so something that's really cool about this is that he falls right in line with the Earthrise stuff. So if you've got the Earthrise Nissan brothers, uh, they look like they just belong in the same line, which is really, really cool. They're about the same size. And in fact, even their transformations are very, very similar. So this works really, really well, just so you can see what these guys look like together. And then we'll show them off with his wave mates. Here he is with Cup in vehicle mode. So you can see what these guys look like together. This guy looks so good. I absolutely love that little truck mode right there. And here he is with Blur. You can see what these guys look like together. And then finally, what review would be complete without a good proper G1 comparison? Check that out. That looks so, so good. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so let's get this uh, off to the side and let's get to transformation for this figure. So we're going to start off right here at the, again, very, this is very similar. If you remember the Earthrise uh, Nissan Brothers, there's going to be a lot of similarities here. So we're going to start down here and we are going to untab the doors from that tab right there on the side of the arm. We're probably going to want to zoom out just a touch and bring the camera up. Just so we can see everything we're doing. Okay, so we're going to take that, separate those, and then we've got the whole roof of the car is tabbed in on the back here and in the front here. So... This one, I, I just kind of wiggle it. I, I don't want to grab the doors and pull up. I, I fear like I might break something if I do that. So I'm just kind of going to very carefully massage it. I've already got the front out and just kind of work the back there. There we go. And then this whole thing is just going to come up. It's on a double hinge right there. So bring that out and then just kind of flip it forward like that so that you can get it out of the way. Let's work on the legs. Legs are super easy. These are just going to accordion out just like that. There is a little tab right here on the knee joint that's going to go into the slot right there on the knee. So you can tab those in, bring the feet out, separate these and turn the wheel wells. And that's going to be pretty much it for the legs. Just make sure that the knee tabs are tabbed in. That, that's one that you really just have to make sure that it's secure in there. Grab the arms, bring these up. These are going to come out and then rotate down, rotate the forearm and bring out the fist. Again, bring out the arm, rotate it out, rotate it down, turn the forearm, bring out the fist. Almost there. So now we've got the silver piece right here in the midsection. Spin that around. We're not turning the figure. Um, we're just only turning that silver piece around just like that. All right, so the hood, take this little uh, panel right here on the hood. We're going to push this down all the way, and that's going to allow us to rotate the head out. Once you've done that, we're going to bring this panel back out just so. And these two tabs on the waist piece are going to tab into these slots on that panel right there. So when you bring this all the way down, you're going to want to line that up in such a way that you tap them in together just like that. And we're almost done. All right, make sure these doors are straight. The back windshield here, this is on a double hinge. You can see the hinges there and there. So we're just gonna accordion that in. And just kind of keep it out of the way of the doors. A lot of clear plastic here, so you're just gonna wanna be careful. Accordion that in, fold the doors in and bring the backpack down. 
get them all nice and straight. See, my knee's untapped again. And there is Jazz in robot mode. And what a beautiful robot mode this is. He stands approximately five and a half inches tall. So again, he's going to be about the Lux size, which size is really nice, not only with the current Earth Rising Kingdom figures, but also with the other uh, studio series figures that are coming out and this this just looks amazing to me he really does this is the jazz figure that i've always wanted he he, he really it, it really is i'm just i'm speechless i just i love this figure so much and again this is it's it's weird for me because i'm typically disappointed with jazz figures and this one i absolutely adore coming in close so you can see the detail check out that head sculpt again it's been said before it bears saying again he looks like he stepped off the screen look at all the detail on this guy mostly and why we've got the black details there the blue stripes on the cross on the groin there on the hip piece silver on the legs it's got all of those perfect g1 callbacks and one of my favorite things about this jazz figure is that he does not have the wing doors that is one thing that drives me crazy about jazz figures is the wing doors uh and even on my g1 figure i usually just fold them back because you know in the cartoon he did not have the wing doors the backpack is not very big um you know it's it's there but it's not you know it could be worse I think it was a little smaller in a cartoon. That's the best that could get done out of that, considering that we've got all of this folded in there. I think it does the job, and it does it well. This looks really, really nice. A few minor, minor gripes with this figure. Uh, I kind of mentioned this with my um, with my Cyclonus uh, review, uh, is the hollowness on this figure. Uh, that that, that kind of feels a little shortcutty. So we've got the back of the legs are hollow. Now, on this one, I kind of understand because of the way that the legs transform, it would have been nice to have another panel here to cover this up after the fact, uh, like they did with Cyclonus and Scourge. Uh, they didn't do that here, but I can kind of forgive it because, again, it, be, just because of the way that the figure transforms. We also have some hollowness on the forearms. And this one, I have a hard time getting over this one uh, because of what a good sh uh, job they've been doing at covering up all of these panels where the fists or the hands come out of on all the other figures. Um, I just can't see why they didn't give us an extra panel here. They even did it with Blur, has a couple of different panels to, to, to hide off these, these little hollow spots. I just can't see why they didn't do it with this figure. This is such a small figure. Um, you know, I can't imagine that the, the, the plastic count or the joint count or the parts count on this was one that they couldn't have included those panels there. So so this one, I have a hard time kind of getting over this one. But again, minor gripes. Other than that, my goodness, what an amazing, beautiful looking figure. Articulation wise, we've got a ball joint on the head. So again, tilt side to side, up and down, side, uh, turn, all that good stuff. Shoulders can go forward and backward all the way around. They can go up and down. You got a rotation at the bicep, a bend at the elbow, and unfortunately, because of the way the fists are hinged, nothing at the at the uh, wrists. We do have a rotation at the waist. The legs can go forward that far, back that far. Rotation at the thigh, bend at the knee. The toes can go in and out a little bit, and we do have quite <laughs> the range of ankle tilt. Uh, it's there. It's a lot. So this guy can break dance. Uh, which would have actually been in character for him. So that's that's really, really cool. Let's give him his weapon. Well, so I mentioned this before, so we can use the hole on the roof to store away his weapon. You can store it like that, or you can use one of the side pegs and store it like that. So that all works out. And then, of course, we're going to give him his weapon in his hand and take a look at him for some comparisons. So we're getting straightened out. I'm trying to give him like a little bit of an A stance here and... He's kind of fighting me. All right, there we go. So a couple of comparisons. Once again, here he is next to Earthrise Prow. So you can see what these guys look like together. And of course, they look... Why doesn't Prow want to stand now? What's going on here? Of course, when I get all these figures in front of the cameras, when they want to start acting up on me. Here we go. So there he is next to Prowl. So again, they look fantastic together side by side. And he, you know, all, I just love the way that all of the current figures uh, from all the different lines all scale perfectly to each other. This just, it, it has to be done by the sign because this just works so, so well. So there's that. And then we're going to take a look at him with a couple of his wave mates. Here he is with Cup. So you can see what these guys look like together. Here he is with Blur. 
can see those two guys together. And then finally, here he is with my G1 Jazz, which again, like I mentioned earlier, I also tend to fold the doors on him. I just don't like the wing doors on him. So you can see what these guys look like together. So very, very happy with this figure. I was I was really looking forward to this one. And like I usually look, uh, you know, I'm always looking forward to Jazz figures. Uh, big difference is that this time it did not disappoint. I absolutely love everything about this figure again you know i had a, a few minor gripes but those are really really minor um but yeah you see this figure on the shelf pick it up because it is fantastic and i think that about does it for the studio series 86 jazz what did you think of this figure let me know down in the comments give me some thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when i upload a new video i've got that donate button up there if you want to hit on that i certainly would appreciate it please share it with your friends if you like what you see and i'll talk to you next time